This time on Husbando Simulate. Huh? Is Hu Chao T posing? Holy! We are starting off with a banger, eh? Let's start with Yuki doing his tailings. Yuki? No. Ah, damn it. After defeating the chess guardian and claiming his rewards, he proceeds to do his day and his team is freezing and low health. After that huge detour, Yuki proceeds to do his day. Ah, for fuck's sake. After painstakingly working on dailies, we are finally doing the main quest. There's this suspicious individual they got everyone worked up. No one knows who he is or what he is. All they know is that he buys forging materials and drinks every night. Sounds like a certain character that I need. <clears throat> Moving on. We asked the bartender and he said that he would be in the bar again at the same time today. Interesting. We thought as we sat and waited for him. There we have a blonde husband getting his daily dose of alcohol and taking a seat as per what the bartender said. Why do you travel? Miss Traveller, he asked. Really? Why, why do we travel, Miss Traveller? You... What? She replied. Well, take a seat. So, who is that small fu- I mean Marshmallow. Also, let's talk in first person. He continues to talk, ignoring the small fu. It's good to travel with someone, even if it's a small piece of shit. Huh? Oh yeah. I forgot to introduce myself. I'm Beastmaster 60. I mean Dinsleeve, the quantum mage of Kyrena. So, I'm willing to travel with you. I require a small fee of a million, I mean, 500 mora, and a condition that I can only travel once a year. That's a toilet. That's pretty funny. Let's go back to first. It seems that Dinsleaf knows about almost everything that's happening in Tevot. That kind of reminds me of that one loop theory. Don't you say anything else, you get? Wait, how do you know? Wh huh? So we gave our reply, don't let it matters, and Dinsleaf felt familiarity with our response. He thought that the traveler was him, which is pretty funny since there's a slight chance that him is the long lost sibling. With that, then Sleep agreed to join us and suggested investigating the Temple of Freedom. <laughs> Wait, it's eager and not Falcon. So we went to the temple and found this. Huh? Even Then Sleep was flabbergasted by this scene where the mages were having a dance off. So flabbergasted that he went on a rampant vocalized thought process and talked about his trauma of traveling with his gay partner in the past. With that, we went on to the wolves of them. Get it? <laughs> Upon arriving, we found this strange abyss contraption and were ambushed by some inhumans. No match for the plot. And of course, Boris Johnson, the king of the bread. I mean, North Woven Sphere. After that terrible pun, Dinsleaf suggested that the light actuators might be used not to shed light onto the abyss. And first, we went to the Valling's lair only to find out there are abyss things over there interfering. Which is pretty interesting that the blondie over there is able to figure out their location. After defeating the enemies, he asked Dinsleaf about his gay lover but it seems that he no longer travels. Suddenly, the traveller felt something staring at her. Must be the gay lover. She looked up to not see anyone but after climbing that cliff, she saw a dandelion that made her remember everything. 